Hey everyone, this is Edward. Welcome to Video Proc Official Channel. In this series, we will introduce you the cutting skills that are extensively used in movies and vlogs. Make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. This video will show you how to use Smash Cut and an Invisible Cut, which are two of the most obvious transition methods to improve your video. So, let us start with Smash Cut. Smash Cut is an editing technique. It can create videos with impressive visual styles and achieve various demands. Simply put, Smash Cut puts several scenes of contrast together and fast cut between those scenes. For instance, the previous scene is motionless. The next scene includes fast moving frames. Here is another example. The previous frame shows a noisy scene. The frame followed by shows a quiet scene abruptly. The sharp contrast can add much novelty to your video. Comparing Smash Cut with the Fade In, Fade Out, or Dissolve edits we talked before, it can quickly switch the scenes and location in a movie, and eventually speed up the tempo of the entire movie. Directors like Smash Cut in film production. It's also the most commonly used editing technique. When using it properly, it can create extra fun or emotional shock. It's not easy to use Smash Cut, but we have many easy methods to use Smash Cut in our daily vlogs. The first way is putting two scenes of big contrast together. Open up Video Proc Vlogger and create a new project. Import the needed footage, drag them onto the timeline. Move the playhead to the proper position. Right click and choose Add Marker in Clip. Apply the same edits to second clip. Then right click, choose Marker and select Split from Marker. Select the redundant clips and remove them off. That's how we do this smash cut. Another way to do a smash cut is using the contrast of the audio clips. In the same way, we drag two clips onto timeline. Find the noisy clip based on the audio waveforms, just like what we did before. We can make the edits with the marker feature. We can also drag the ends of the clip to edit with the ripple edit feature, just like this. By doing the smash cut, you can easily create a vlog with faster tempo. Next, let's have tell a close look at the invisible cut. We can often see the application of the invisible cut in movies. This editing technique uses the foreground elements to block the camera and fast realize the transition. It's commonly used in action movies. These scenes look like long takes, but actually, they are made up of multiple shot clips and joined together by invisible cut. Invisible cut is for making the occurrence of the cut invisible. So, usually the audience won't notice the happen of an invisible cut. However, in the routine edits of short video or vlogs, we don't have to make the cuts invisible. We often use the invisible cut to make creative transitions. For instance, the use of dark transition is a relatively simple invisible cut. Let me show you how to do this in Video Proc Vlogger. Firstly, prepare two clips. Drag them onto the timeline. Find the position where you want the transition to happen. Drag the ends of the clip. Use the ripple edit feature to cut to the proper position. 
Let's preview the result. If it's not good enough, apply it with the fade to black transition effect. With the invisible cut feature, you can make lots of creative transition to spice up your movie. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about a smash card and an invisible card in Video Proc Logger. I think you have got a comprehensive understanding to it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoy. Bye.